a long time ago. It says there's coming a day when there's going to be no night. And that's very true today, because today we have an opportunity to stop our rebellion. Today we have an opportunity to get on our knees and pray. Today we have an opportunity to come to God. But there's going to come a day when there'll be no night, when we won't be able to kneel and pray. Christ's mandate is our duty. This means it's our job, our duty, our responsibility. Responsibility and privilege is to seek those who he sends. Those who he sends to us. Those who will listen and obey today. And it's time we make that decision to get our minds off this world, to get our minds off everything that's going on around us, and just simply obey Him today. There's no mountain too high, there's no valley too low that God cannot reach, and there's no pits too deep that God can't pull us out of. But in order to receive the fullness of God, we need to stop rebellion against God. We need to make that decision to serve Him more than anyone else. We need to make that decision to listen to Him more than anyone else. We need to make that decision to seek Him more than anyone else. We need to make that decision to speak Him more than anyone else. I've often been told in my life that I talk about God too much. And my response is always this. How can you talk about God too much? God has done so great and marvelous things for me. Why shall I not speak of it? I posted on Facebook last night that I didn't think my life would be where it is today. I would never imagine it to be where it is because it wasn't in my life plan as it is of right now. But through everything that I have ever been through in my life, I'm stronger than going through it. Even my mom, for an example. Why would I ask her back? She's been in pain her whole entire life. <laughs> operations on top of operations. For every minute high school, she was given up to die three times. There were serious operations. There was a lot of prayer. There was a lot of things that we went through. And God healed her several times. But only to later on get in more pain. So why would I ask her? To be in pain in this life. She's finally in that land of milk and honey. My divorce. For an example. Because of what I have been through. I could help and encourage someone else. And I can tell them that there's life after the divorce. That it's no time to quit. And it's no time to sit down. We are to help. The lost. We need to help the lost and to help them meet the Savior. That's our real job, our business. We all have a job in this world to make money, to pay bills. Some of us, like myself, may have a business. But our real job and our real business is to help someone meet the Savior. And you don't have to be a preacher to lead someone to Christ. Not all of us will be deacons, not all of us will be preachers, not all of us will be evangelists, not all of us will be singers, but we can all do something for God, and that's witness for God. We can all lead someone to God. Is my mandate not because I'm a preacher? It has nothing to do with it. It's my mandate because I'm one of his disciples. Are you one of his disciples today? Are you the one that will stand and say, Hey, I'll be that voice to that one that has no voice. I'll be that person that will stand there and fight the battles for him. 
That's exactly what Jesus did. He said, I see them lost and hungry. I'll find them and I'll feed them. He says, I see them in need. He said, I'll give them what they need. He said, I see that they're lost looking for a Savior. I'll be that Savior today. That's exactly what Jesus did for us. Will you do the same for someone else? Be that witness. Be that light today. And be that person that will stand up in the midst and say, God, here am I. Send me. We need to make that decision to serve God today more than anyone else. We need to make that decision to stop looking around at everyone else and start looking solely upon God today.